Oh man, what a radio. Oh, that's a huge fish. He's right behind him. He's right behind him. Got him! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day. Woke up this morning. It says it's seven o'clock. Apparently, I slept pretty good in the truck. Got beat by another rig to one of the other holes. Two jet boats already went by, so I'm lacing up. I'm getting ready. I'm getting my rods ready. We got to catch something to eat now. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you guys haven't already, go back, watch day one. All kinds of crazy stuff was happening and the whole town was burning down. Today, it's looking really, really smoky out here. I'm hoping there's not a fire burning that's gonna cut us off from getting down to the beach because from here, we got about another 40 miles to coast to the bottom, to the mouth of this river where we're gonna be meeting up with another friend of mine to fish the estuary and his boat for some kings. So, today's goal is to find some fish doesn't matter the species, doesn't matter the size. We're gonna find some fish, we're gonna cook those bad boys up. I got a really cool recipe that I'm gonna try tonight. So, we're gonna go out and catch some fish. If you guys haven't already, hit subscribe, smash the thumbs up. Drop a comment below with whether or not you like these traveling videos. I know I'm having a blast. You guys stay tuned. All right, everybody, well, it's been a long morning so far. Been fishing for probably two hours or so. A giant fleet of drift boats just went by me. Talked to all of them. Sounds like they'd only got one steelhead, one salmon all morning. There's two or three more drift boats coming now. So I'm gonna go grab some food really quick, find a gas station somewhere, grab some grub, and uh, we're gonna head on down the road, see what we can find. And we might end up fishing in the ocean today, who knows? We gave Steve a call. We're supposed to fish with him tomorrow. You guys have seen Steve in some of our Southern Oregon stuff before. He's one of our awesome guides that we, we work with, What's Steve Chrysler. So we met up with Steve. We came all the way out. And what are we doing now? We're gonna go troll for some salmon. Why okay. not? We're enough trying to catch those little ones. We're gonna go get the big, big, the big ones. Big dogs. Yes. Okay, so we're rocking three methods here, everybody. We're gonna go one 360. We got a three and a half spinner. Just a little pinky on this one. Um, there's fish stacked, I just saw another one roll. There's fish stacked all over out here. It's kind of just getting one to bite, it seems like. Um, Steve's been explaining it to us all afternoon about how finicky the bite can be here at times. So we're trying three different methods, whichever one works, we'll probably switch over to that and see if we can't get ourselves a big old tub. That was right behind. Try to get the right down though. Get down. Hey, you were supposed to let me know. Uh huh. 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 Sweet, dude. So. We tried, tried to find bottom again. I clipped, clipped the bale, let it go like three or four feet, and wham, instantly got hit on the drop there, on the 360. Nice. Yes, dude. Nice. We called it, we were both just brainstorming in the tent. He's like, we gotta try it. And I'm like, let's get, let's get it and go. <laughs> we had a couple options on things to do tonight. One of them. Oh, I'll take the fish. Ready? <laughs> Brother, yes, woo! Got him on the 360. That's an eater right there. No, no. Not you, little. Get, get, no. No, little. You can't eat it. We're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it. <laughs> what a beautiful fish on the choker rig. Thank you, Cameron. Put that up, little choker rig in camp. I knew that thing wasn't coming off the whole time. <laughs> Thank you so much. The first Southern Oregon Chinook. Oh, and a tasty one. This is gonna make a good burger, huh? Yeah. <laughs> a slam burger. Yes. <laughs> That's so awesome. I can taste it. Now. I know. So, just a perfect little specimen. South Coast Chinook. Absolutely beautiful. 
gonna have incredible, oh, incredible color. You need a tow back or? All right, well, we're gonna get this bad boy on ice now. It's good and bled. The idea now is to hopefully catch a couple more. We're gonna wait this out through the good part of the tide. Steve called it perfect. He's like, man, these fish are gonna really turn on from this time to this time with the tide. And what do you know, about two, three passes in, bam, got one on our secret setup. So we're gonna throw out the bag. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna go back. We're gonna make some salmon burgers with this. So if you guys like salmon burgers, stick around, drop a like below, and comment below whether or not you've ever made anything other than just cooking salmon normal. So I'm excited to try something different. We got all the ingredients waiting for us back at camp. Let's get this one on ice and let's get back to fishing. Can you get out of the net? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a guy out here? No, he's not out here. The sea lion's got him. I don't think so. Not anymore. Not yet. Dang it. I almost... I didn't have to land it. Oh, this is huge. Coming around, coming around. Get down, Sean. Awesome. Coming right on your boat. Right on your boat. Oh, man. Look out, little. Get down. Get down. Oh man, what a rodeo. Oh, that's a huge fish. He's right behind him. He's right behind him. Got him! Oh my god! Oh! oh. Yes! Yes! Dude. Oh my god! Oh, he floated all the way to the net. Oh my god. Little, that's enough. Holy smokes. That was incredible, dude. Boom. That was so cool. Good job. Good job on the net, bro. That was crazy. That was a hot <laughs> Insane. Did you see that ceiling? Yeah, yeah. Like, Did you get it on camera? Yeah, yeah I got it. Oh, that's so cool. Work. Oh my god, dude. That thing is. What do you think? 31. I'm going 32 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Price is wrong, Bobby. Oh my goodness. In hand. It's not going on anywhere. Look at that fish, dude. Look what you just did. Oh my God. That is insane. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Steve is an animal. Did you guys see the way he got that in the net? Comment below. Drop a thumbs up. I don't care who you are. If that didn't get your heart going, you're not breathing. That was insane. Let me see that bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a slab right there, boys. <laughs> wow, dude. Congrats. Big that girl. is so cool. <laughs> oh, that was rad. <laughs> <laughs>
100 yards into the last pass. Didn't go 20. <laughs> Hooked that fish. As you guys saw, that sea lion, or that, it was, a, it was this harbor seal. Harbor seal. It was a harbor seal, was just right on his tail, but that fish was so strong and fast <laughs> that it couldn't, the, the seal couldn't catch it. And we worked it, did a couple 360s, almost got caught with a couple of boats. The way you got that fish's head to come up and towards right, the surface, that, I mean like so textbook and so lucky because he just, he <laughs> zigged when he shouldn't have zagged. Yep. And we got him in the net right before the seal grabbed it. That was one of the coolest moments. Everybody was hooting and hollering, <laughs> man. God, that was cool. So we're gonna count our eggs. We're gonna grab our fish. We're gonna head on back, get a couple things ready for dinner and share this awesome salmon burger recipe with you guys. So stay tuned. 28. 28 pound hen. That's a big girl. Pound hen. I like them big. Yeah. I like, I like them the chunky. <laughs> I like when they got thick thighs and yeah. big buns. Oh, dude, she's thick. All right. We're gonna make, we're gonna put her in between in between two big buns. Oh, that's for yeah. sure. So, you guys, what we're gonna do, a little surprise for you, is what we're gonna do to make these salmon burgers here is we're actually gonna salvage the meat that we usually waste on the carcass of this fish. So he got this big old giant 28 pound fish. So instead of throwing all this good meat away, I'm gonna take my little Gerber spoon here and I'm gonna take a little Ziploc bag and I'm gonna clean most of this spine clean. And this is gonna pretty much be all of the fish for our meal for the evening. So, gonna salvage again use up the stuff that's normally waste. A little bit of recycling going on here. But I tell you what, it's gonna turn into a delicious thing. You just take that spoon, you run it right down along the back side of those bones there. And that stuff just peels right off. And every little bit you get, into the bag. All right, so we got a pretty good sized bag of meat off of those spines and off of those bellies and everything. So we got that scraped off. It's probably the perfect amount for two burgers. We're gonna go back, we're gonna get all our ingredients together. We're gonna get this recipe underway because I'm getting hungry, I don't know about you guys. Comment below with whether or not you guys ever make crab patties or any kind of salmon burgers like this. I know I'm excited, it's one of my favorite recipes and we got a lot of good ingredients to throw into this that you're not gonna want to miss. Okay. All right, so we got our whole kitchen set up here. We got our scrap meat. And we actually took the collars off of the big fish as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all this out on the table, or not on the table, preferably onto the cutting board here, and I'm gonna slice this up in a little bit smaller pieces. I'm not gonna get like super fancy with it, but I'm gonna hold one end, and I'm just gonna start making big slices. Get this stuff chunked up a little bit so it breaks down a little bit more. Okay, so these collars are pretty neat, you guys. There's actually a lot of meat on here that a lot of people don't ever get to, so. And it's got the most nutrients. Exactly, the the highest fat content. Mm -hmm. It has a ton of flavor. And it's just good for you as well. Has a, this probably has the most omega threes in these in these collars and in the back or in the shoulders and stuff out of any other part of the body. So now that we have our salmon meat ready, we're gonna start cutting up our veggies. We're gonna get our eggs mixed into this. We're gonna do our our initial little mixture on our patties here, um, and then Steve's gonna get some of the condiment stuff chopped up, and we're gonna just tag team this thing. I'm gonna do a little bit of Lowry's here. Just a small little dusting here because this stuff is pretty strong. Tiny, tiny bit of garlic salt because our man over here is getting some garlic going. I'm gonna crush some black pepper on over that, just like so. Mix it around, maybe even let it sit and marinate for a few minutes, kinda let it cook down in there. Okay, now we're gonna grab our breadcrumbs, let's give a good little squeeze of some lemon on top of this here. Man, that's coming together nicely. Maybe a cup. Okay, let's go about a cup of breadcrumb in here. Just gonna evenly disperse that all the way across. We can always, again, everybody, you guys all know my motto, we can always add more, you can't take it out. So, a couple of eggs. I usually like to go about an egg per per burger. If you got three, four, five burgers worth of fish in here, I do about one, two, or three eggs for each one of those burgers that you plan on making. So 
So we're only eating two here because Sean doesn't get to eat. <laughs> and the fun part begins. So we're gonna take, and just kind of mash all this together here. I'm gonna get it good and tacky, good and mixed around. Get that breadcrumb, that fish, and that egg all to start to kind of bond together there because you want to be able to make a patty out of this. So if it's too slimy and it's not quite getting stiff enough, you're going to want to add a little bit more breadcrumb, a little more sustenance to it, give it a little more body here. So what I'm going to do now, will you douse my hands with a little bit of water? I'm going to press these patties. What I like to do, guys, is I like to get my hands a little bit wet before I do this. It helps from getting that stuff. You saw how sticky it was getting to my hands. Now that I want to roll my patties, I'm going to do about, oh, half pound patties here. I'm going to get my hands wet and see how it stops sticking to me. That's that's the beauty of that. You get your hands just a little bit moist, that breadcrumb and everything will stop sticking to you. Bam, patty number one. Bam, patty number two. Ooh, the big one for our captain. Oh, that's a good patty there, everybody. Look at that bad boy. Uh-huh. You can tell by the way it is, that thing's gonna taste good. And patty number three. I know, right? My God. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese now. He's got the Tillamook pepper jack. Thank you Tillamook cheese for making these delicious things and all you Tillamook dairy farmers out there. Grandma would be proud. Let's take a bite and talk about it here. What's this thing taste like? Mmm. Can't even really taste the salmon's full flavor. It kind of blends in with that breadcrumb and all the other flavors. And it's just this buttery, flaky, absolute melt in your mouth goodness. Got him, got him, got him, got him. 